Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. And the ACLU is blaming, you're not going to believe this. Uh, actually, this is 100% predictable than anybody with any common sense. The ACLU is blaming Christians for the Islam Orlando terrorist attack. That's right. That Christian standing there on the pulpit teaching about Christ's love and forgiveness, he's at fault. It's not an Islamic soldier that's at fault. He's at fault. These people are insane. I'm sorry. Uh, what are you psychobabblers out there? What do you think about this? If you're a psychiatrist, what do you think about this? I'd say the ACLU, these lawyers are clinically insane. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I can't diagnose them. I'm going to say that's my opinion. They are clinically insane. Several American Civil Liberties Union, otherwise known as the Anti-Christian Liberals Union, took to Twitter to blame the Christian right for Sunday's deadly terrorist attack in a nightclub in Orlando, Florida, which left 50 dead and 53 injured. I knew this was going to happen. I knew that the Christians would be blamed when it was an attack by an Islamic State soldier. By definition, I mean, they've admitted this was Islamic State. It was ISIS. Chase Strangio, an insane staff attorney with the ACLU's LGBT and AIDS project, claimed the social and political environment cultivated by Christian conservatives in recent months was to blame for the shooting at Pulse, a nightclub popular with Orlando's LGBT community. Christian Wright has introduced 200 anti-LGBT bills in the last six months, and people are blaming Islam for this. No. Str Chase Strangio. This is unbelievable. He's insane. He's insane and he belongs in a mental hospital, in my opinion. Uh, since when do Muslims listen to Christian preachers anyway? They don't. Another ACLU attorney... Oh boy, that one's not going to happen. Eunice Rowe specializes in election and religious liberty law, impugned the motives of the Republican lawmakers who expressed sympathy for the vi victims by pointing out many were sponsors of the First Amendment Defense Act legislation the ACLU considers anti-LGBT. So the anti-Christian liberals union hates First Amendment. No surprise there. Well, they hate uh, Christians being able to express their First Amendment rights. She further characterized expressions of solidarity as useless as many of the victims could be people of color who she contends are regularly stigmatized by Republican legislators. So, here we have the ACLU is transferring deflecting the blame away from where it belongs, which is with Islamic soldiers. And there's going to be more of these attacks, and they're going to get deadlier every time. The ACLU has transferred the blame to people who had nothing to do with this. They're crazy! They are insane! Uh, maybe some of you want to, uh, if you're a member of the ACLU, maybe you should say, screw you, I'm leaving this. There's no maybe as well, you should. There are hundreds of people like this who are going to wa watching all over the country that pose, that pose a threat as really as, as merging threat and that is very dangerous and uh, the hardest terrorist threat we've confronted in the history of this country, said Marco Rubio. 
I didn't have any problem with what some of the things that Marco Rubio said, but this ACLU is just insane. Rubio, a member of Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, said to prevent further attacks, the United States needs to block terrorist groups from going online and radicalizing people. Good luck doing that. I can get around your uh, security senator. That wouldn't be hard. There's ways of getting around this stuff. This is an ongoing thing that ultimately is going to require the Islamic world to reject radicalism and to basically discard it as a proper way forward, and that's a huge challenge. It's going to take a long time, but unfortunately, in the meantime, we have to continue to fight the war on terror, and sadly, last night that war on terror came to Orlando, he said. Well, Senator Rubio, we got to do more and talk. We got to find these rats in their nests and take them out. I don't care where they are. We got to take them out. Uh, Jeepers, the senator. This is a military situation. We're under attack, senator. And we have to stop these bastards before they kill more of our citizens, senator. Unbelievable. Well, at least Rubio has some common sense. The ACLU is insane, and they've just proved it. I guess that was a separate story, but I'll go ahead and leave it on here. But the AC, so the ACLU blames Christians. So it's Christian preaching on the pulpit that's at fault for this, not an Islamic soldier, even though they've claimed responsibility, ISIS has. These people are insane. I don't care. I'm not a psychobabbler, but uh, even an animal will understand when somebody's insane. They've lost the ability to understand the difference between right and wrong. They're crazy. If I were you, I would leave the ACLU. It's a piece of shit. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.